Hi, this is Jason from Horrific Nightmares, and I got a package today. Um, I've recorded this several times, but for some reason, people keep calling my house wanting to bother me. Um, so I'm going to try this one more time. Um, I did get a package today from my very good friend Drew, and Drew is from, hey, isn't that Devon Graham? And these are my prize winnings for winning his contest, and I wanted to share them with you guys. Unfortunately, I've done this a couple times over, <laughs> so <laughs> it's not really a surprise to me anymore, but uh, first we have uh, um, the Texas Chainsaw Massacre, uh, which is the limited edition steelbook, and this is one of my favorite movies of all time, and I mean, this is just a fantastic looking steelbook. This is so cool. I was so stoked when I won this. Thank you so much, Drew. This is such an awesome prize. Uh, next up is Hannibal. Um, I like Hannibal almost as much as Silence of the Lambs. And I think it would have gone over a lot better had they kept Jodie Foster. Because um, I think it's a great movie. It definitely has a strong cast. Um, strong acting. And I just, I just love the story. I think it's brilliant. So this is an awesome, awesome upgrade from the DVD that I have. So thank you so much, Drew. Uh, next up, we have Friday the 13th, The Killer Cut. And this movie has a special meaning to me. Uh, much like this weekend, uh, this came out on Father's Day weekend when it was released. And my daughter took me to see it for Father's Day. Um, my daughter hates uh, horror movies. But she took me to see it and endured it just for her dad. So... This will always have a special place in my heart. Uh, up next is one of the most underrated um, Robin Williams films, in my opinion, uh, One Hour Photo. Uh, this and uh, Insomnia, I believe, are two of his better movies that really don't get talked about that much. Um, yeah, this is fantastic. And I actually didn't even know this was on Blu-ray, so thank you so much, dude. Up next, we have a favorite that I was going to buy and I kept putting off, but now I don't have to buy it because I want it. <laughs> and that's The Hills Have Eyes. Um, really eager to see what Arrow did with the transfer to this because Arrow always knocks it out of the park. This is just an awesome, awesome Blu ray. Thank you so much, Drew. And last. But certainly not least. Um, this comes with a little bit of a story that I told Drew I would share um, because I was so grateful to win the prizes. Uh, this is Dolls, of course, the Scream Factory uh, Blu-ray. Now, the story behind this, uh, about a month and a half ago, uh, my wife found some stuff for me online. It was uh, people selling horror Blu-rays. I can't even remember where they were from, to be honest with you. But I ordered, I believe it was four horror Blu-rays. Um, I ordered The Girl with All the Gifts, which is a really good, uh, different take on a zombie film. I ordered um, Our Girl Walks Home Alone at Night, which is, to me, is just a fantastic movie. Um, the Cabin Fever, um, that was the Scream Factory remake. I know uh, most people don't like it. Um, I think it's okay. I don't really believe it needed to be done, but you know it was fairly cheap, and I just kind of added it to the list. And finally, uh, for ten dollars, with a slipcover, was dolls, which is such a good price um, with a slipcover for such an old Scream Factory movie. Now. The package apparently went to mail hell, <laughs> and um, I put in a claim, and the the guy who we bought it from put in a claim as well, and um, probably will never see it, but, you know, after, I believe it, after 90 days, we get our money back um, from uh, the post office. So, um, I was really stoked when I won this. Um, 
Was it karma? Probably not. Probably just dumb luck, but, you know, I was really upset when the package went to Mail Hell. I believe there was another Blu-ray that I ordered off of there, but now I can't remember what it was. But anyway, like I said, it is in Mail Hell. I doubt I will ever receive it. Um, of course, I guess there always is a possibility, but they said, I believe, after 30 days, you get a refund. It's either 30 or 90. Now I can't remember. But anyway, uh, we both followed up on it. The people who I bought the stuff from, it was not their fault. Of course, it is our lovely postal system. Um, and they were very, very sorry that it happened. And, you know, they tried to help as much as they could. So that's the story with dolls. Um, thank you so much, Drew. This is so awesome. I am so glad to have this. I love this movie. And for some reason, uh, this always kind of escaped me for some reason. It just never um, dawned on me to even buy it. I do have it on a VHS uh, combo pack. But this is definitely a movie to own uh, for Screen Factory. So, um, yeah, thank you so much, dude. I appreciate it. Um, I'm going to put your links down in the, in the uh, description box below. Everybody go check out um, Hey, Isn't That Devon Graham. Uh, Drew is such a nice guy. And um, thank you so much again, my friend. Um, this is very much appreciated. And until next time, guys, peace.